Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil update and tutorial video. Today we will talk about another feature of the upcoming Blender 5.0 which is the Pen Tool, a new tool that exists now inside Edit Mode to emulate the tools that you can find in uh, vector apps like Inkscape or Illustrator etc and even in Photoshop to create Bezier type curves. So first you select the tool here and then you can left click to create the first point. And then you can create another point or extend it or extrude it by left clicking again in empty space. And if you click like this, you see that we created a straight line. If you click again, you create another straight line. If you click again, straight line. And then if you click close to the first point, while the last point is selected, you can close the shape and create this kind of square. And you notice that we have corners here because we created vector type points. If you wonder what they are, so vector, as you can see, they form corners and they are not curvy points. So let's do V. Here we can change between these four types of handle types. You change, for example, to auto, you get this, you get this curve here. And if you want to learn the difference between these four, free and vector are similar. You can make corner using them and auto and align are similar because they make these aligned handles that form a straight line and you can use them to create curves in your lines. I made a separate video to explain what's the difference between these four. But now let's continue explaining how this new awesome tool works. So let's do L to select the whole curve and then do X, D to delete everything and then we'll start all over again. So now if we left click and drag, now you can edit the handle as soon as you create your first point. And if you click again and keep your mouse button maintained and drag, you will also create a curve like this. And we continue that, click and drag, click and drag, and again, if you want to close, you go to the first point while the last point is selected and you left click here and voila, we closed our shape. Let's do control Z. You can also have the last point selected and we can select it directly because we will close the shape. So for that, we need to select another point or maybe deselect everything or maybe switch the tool and select it. So this is one of the inconveniences with this tool for now. Maybe it will be improved. And by the way, if you want to give your feedback about this tool, just download Blender from the daily releases page. I will give you the link in the description. And then I'll give you the link also to the feedback thread where you can give your feedback and also see all the feedback that we already gave including mine i gave a lot of feedback so i encourage you to do that so that we can improve this tool together to make it an awesome tool in the future so again with one of the points selected the edge point with the pen tool selected you can left click on the other end and you can close your shape again let's do l and do x d to delete everything and now let's look at the settings here. We have radius. You can change radius. I think the default is 0.01. Let's make it 0.1. Enter. And then you have settings to where you can draw your shape. Here the default is origin. It can be 3D cursor, surface or stroke. So you can even draw on the surface of a 3D mesh. Just like using uh, the tools or the, the draw tool in draw mode. We have the same settings here. Origin, 3D cursor, front, side, top. So this is not the topic of our video. So I won't linger on this. Let's go back to edit mode, tab. So these are the three settings for the pen tool. And then you have the materials. So the material that will be used and drawing is the active one. We can select the red material, for example, and we can add another point. And now we have a red stroke using this other material. Now, let me tell you more about what you can do with the pen tool. So, as I said, if you left click, you create a vector, a corner point like this. And if you do shift and then left click, you create an auto type point. And that's a type of aligned. 
as you can see these two handles are aligned here then we can select the last one and you can extrude by again left clicking and dragging or just left clicking to create vector points or shift left clicking to create a auto point like this now if you want to move a point you can select it and then just left click and drag like this or this if you want to edit a handle you can also left click on it and drag and it will work like this if you want to dissolve a point and that is to delete a point without splitting the curve you can do control and then left click and if you want to create a new point in a segment a segment is the line between two points you can go in a point here on a segment like this and then do control again and create a point so control left click will create a point and control left click again will dissolve that point and the points you create with this method control left click is an aligned point as you can see both handles are aligned now as we said if we have an end point selected and we click in empty space we will create or extend or extrude the line and if we click near an end point we will close the line let's do Control z Control z but if you have a point in the middle selected and you click in empty space let's change the material here you see that you can create a new line and here we have a line of type dots that's why we see these dots and if you don't like them spaced like this you can increase the resolution of the line and to do that go to stroke set resolution it's called set curve resolution and the default value is 12 and i like to change it usually to 30 it works well with line type strokes or line type materials so enter but with this dot stroke it may not be enough so you may want to increase it maybe to 60 and of course it depends on what you want to do let's turn it to 30 for now enter another thing that you can do with the pen tool while the pen tool is selected is to adjust a segment so if you left click in the middle of a segment and not on a point and drag you can adjust the curve of the segment one thing i don't like about this is that it changes the type of the point adjacent to the segment to a free point and i would prefer that it stays in its original type so for example if it's aligned see this is a bug if we change the type to aligned it doesn't show up until we move the handles so now it's aligned but if we move the segment it will change again to a free point type but this is what you can do for now you can move segments like this without moving the adjacent points another thing that you can do why the pen tool again is selected is to change the handle type by double clicking the point so we saw that we can do the shortcut v to select a different handle type and you can do it also by double clicking so double clicking here will cycle through all four handle types another feature that seems not to work properly is the toggling between free and aligned curves so if you drag a handle like this and then do control it's supposed to change it to an aligned point but as you can see it's not working let's select a different point an aligned point this time select a handle start to move it and then do control and see that it switches now you can drag this handle freely and changes the type to a free handle type but if you drag again and do control to switch back to align it doesn't work so i don't know if it's intended to be like this but in the docs it says that this method will allow you to switch between align and free and not to work in one direction only so let's select the center point and do v align now we have an aligned point again just make sure that you press control after you start dragging and not before because if you press control and then left click you will dissolve the point so this is another issue with this tool is that a shortcut can do two different things depending on the order in which you use it so clicking before doing control 
and do this and doing control before the click will dissolve the point another feature is when you start to drag a point again you should start dragging first and then press shift you will constrain the rotation of the point to 45 degrees increments so you can do like vertical lines or horizontal lines or 45 degrees lines like this and the last thing that you can do is to move an entire point and to do that you can select a handle and start dragging it and then do alt and you can move the entire point i think that this feature is pointless because it's not useful if you need to move the handle first before moving it if you want to do this you want to move it without any change so i guess maybe this is another bug and anyways i think that the whole feature is useless because you can just select the center point and drag it like this and it does the same thing it moves the entire point with both handles at the right angles and without the downsides of using alt and the left mouse button so you see for these three shortcuts that we saw you need to first use your mouse and then press on the key that you need if you do alt and then do this nothing happens quick update part of the continuous learning in life after all the feature is not that useless so imagine that you create a point like this and then while you are dragging still creating it you don't like the placement of the point so now you can press alt while still dragging and you can change its position and then again alt and you can change and then again left click and drag and you can also use shift for example to constrain at the same time in which you are creating your point and then we can do this also with control to change to a free handle here and then we create another point and we can again alt and change its position and just close the shape here so this was the update let's go back to the old me so these are the pen tool features and what you can do with it but of course there are other ways to move and edit the points you can still use the shortcut g to move a point you can use the shortcut r to rotate a point you can use the shortcut s to resize a point and you can use these shortcuts even when another tool is selected like the select tool so now we can do the same things you can't select and drag but you can select a point and do g and move it like this again r rotate you can do e to extrude so all the usual blender shortcuts will work with your busier curves even when the pen tool isn't selected so this is it guys thanks for watching see you in another video and peace